Good morning, YouTube. How's everyone doing? Bank Crypto here to give you another video. And today's topic is going to be about IOST and my plans with IOST. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the Tron side of things as well. We're going to start off with the price of Bitcoin and what, how, what I feel it may happen. Uh, I hope everyone is enjoying themselves and staying safe that, and staying healthy. That's the main, main concern right now. Uh, but we're looking to try and take advantage of the market at this point in time so i want to give a shout out to dmz and greenhouse telegram groups if you're not in there be sure to use the link below and use that invite so bitcoin right here as we can see uh the 50 is about to cross the 200 so the 50 is in blue uh the 200 ema is in purple and this cross right here is i you know, if you're just trading on EMA alone, you would definitely be looking to uh, take advantage of this. Uh, this would probably be a buy signal. And this might be because some people probably saw this curve here. And this is why it probably pumped here. Also, <clears throat> this is showing good divergence. This is going up. But I'm just worried about this. this it's sitting too high. It's just over. It's overbought at the point at this point in time. Uh, and then the, Ma the the MACD is showing positive, like it's fanning out right here. You can see it, like right here it was closing in, and then it just fanned out. So, from my perspective, I, I'm probably going to sit today out. I want to see what happens today. If this drops a little bit more, if depending on how far it drops, uh, or even if it does drop, um, but if it continues at this rate, I'll probably end up taking a position out on the following day in hopes of this cross i'll put a short stop loss just in case uh, but i'm probably going to take this play just uh just because this is going to be a cross here and i'm not sure like this is this is a high this is a new high uh high is higher lows i mean there's a lot of signals here that are showing that hey you can still take an you know you can still take a chance on this so i probably will and I uh, wanted to mention IOST. IOST is, uh, is, is very cheap right now. It is almost, I mean, it's a little bit above all-time low. All-time low was about uh, 0.002. It is at 0.0036 at the moment. And uh, this is against USD value. So we can see here's a low, higher low. It's going up at a slow pace. Right, still not a bad opportunity to buy. I probably would just check it out because this is still fanning out low. Would probably want to see this kind of going at least in a, uh, you know this direction. This is good, but this needs to kind of show. So basically, why I'm bringing up IOST is because IOST at one point was worth one penny, uh, and if you're accumulating at this point in time at point zero zero three six, and it shoots up to a penny or you know 1.2 cents that's almost a 4x gain and if you're accumulating more iost um then that'll be good for you but <clears throat> even against us uh sorry btc value it can it has it has it has potential to continue to grow and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be using my node rewards to buy or half of my node rewards to buy otbc because i'm gonna start whaling up when 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 stuff is quiet i'm going to start whaling up on projects that i feel is it has long term um long term goals i think this could be the tron trade of iost otbc i think that they have plans moving forward i've talked to one of the admins there and he's one of the ones that uh you know founded uh, co-founders of the project and He's constantly just sending me stuff about the future. So I'm going to I'm going to, you know, invest in, or sorry, vote for my node and use that half of the rewards, vote for the node, half of the rewards. I'm going to be buying OTBC. Um, I have over, I think, 3000 OTBC, but I'm going to try and get I'm going to try and get a lot because I think this is a really low price for it. So. Let me show you my node rewards. Node rewards, basically, I'm getting about 146 a day. Uh, total rewards has been that amount. So P mine, I'm gonna show you my power mine tracker. I have gotten back 
almost 50 percent uh so that is looking good i'm getting about a daily uh, average of 127 iost a day and that's my percentage so not looking bad i'm actually i, I like like i've i've said before and i'm i've been saying i'm actually impressed because i didn't expect this uh, i didn't expect it from a project on iost because a lot of the projects i've been involved with on iost i'm still actually <laughs> waiting to to ROI. So to see uh, the progress within 60, 61 days and getting 50% back, that's um, a positive thing to me. That's just a positive thing to me. It just shows that there's growth on the IOST side. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about my Toucan Air uh, thoughts. So we know that Toucan Air has a liquidity pool with Oikos or yeah, Oikos. And actually... It's a liquidity pool, so it needs balance, right? <clears throat> so what happens with the liquidity pool, it, it provides balance for the price of that token. And as you can see, the mining difficulty for token is five TRX. So you have to put in five Tron to get one token out. Now, there's a few things that I've been going over. There's going to be opportunities here that I feel we can take advantage of. And I think it's going to be coming when the staking pool starts dying down. So if you've noticed, I believe the staking pool started out with, I think, a million uh, token in the staking pool. And we've been getting uh, token daily from it. That number has been dropping uh, along with this, right? So if I'm not mistaken, I believe we're going to get one million token injected into the staking pool every two months correct me if my if i'm wrong in the comments please but if i'm not mistaken it's going to be one million every two months now i believe we're already one month in so this is going to probably drop maybe to five maybe five hundred thousand maybe five hundred thousand it might be a little more before the injection so that's that first injection i think is going to tell a lot about where uh toucan is going to go if that staking pool goes so let's say it goes to five hundred thousand, one million millions injected that's 1.5 million sorry about that that was my ring uh 1.5 million into the staking pool this is going to go up and then another two months if there's a if if we're going at a rate of five hundred thousand every two months if we're only uh basically if there's only 500,000 being distributed every month or every two months, I'm sorry, and you're injecting 1 million, then that means that the pool is going to be growing, right? And then once, once people see the, the pool growing and your rewards growing, it's going to invite more users. So my thought process is since there's a liquidity pool making balance for the price, we see that the difficulty is five here. So we need to get somewhere near five. So even if it gets to two, uh, Tron per or even three Tron per this is still a good a good way So what I'm doing is I'm basically I'm just putting Tukin back in there. I'm using uh, my rewards from Infinitu. I'm also withdrawing from here. I'm buying Tukin from the liquidity pool and then I'm also staking it in Tukin and that's what I'm gonna do daily um, It's not about t t for me um, it took a little while. You can do a lot with a little. You just need patience and time. So if you're doing a few things daily and you can do it, it will build. It'll build up over time. Um, and that's basically my my approach for especially for 2020. Like right now, a lot of us only have time. <laughs> you know, some of us don't have. You know, some of us don't have kids and stuff. I do, but some people may not, and they have time. So. If you have the time, then be patient with it a little bit. I know that right now it's not that you know it doesn't feel like the time to be patient because Bitcoin is going crazy and going up and down. But sometimes uh, you're you have to remain constant. Uh, the price of Bitcoin is not going to be constant. You have to be constant. So I hope that helps. If you need anything, you can find me in Greenhouse or Decentralized Minds. At Bent Crypto is my Telegram 